with my top five gifts for knitters this holiday season. Whether you are shopping for a knitter or are a knitter yourself and looking for some ideas to put on your wish list, I have got five great gifts for knitters uh, as well as one honorable mention. So let's go ahead and jump right into it because let's face it, Christmas is almost here. And now that I've said that, I'm gonna take the hat off. All right, so before I get started, a warning, do not, do not buy your knitter yarn. Knitters are very particular about their yarn. So unless you have been told exactly what yarn to get, exactly what color and exactly how much, do not buy your knitter yarn. Even if you are a knitter yourself and you're pretty sure you know what your friend will like, do not buy your knitter yarn. A gift card to a local yarn shop is an excellent idea, but please do not buy your knitter random yarn. All right, so with that said, let's get into this list. Top five gifts for knitters this holiday season. Number five is a gleaner. I happen to have one of these right here so I can show you. I will include links to everything in the description box down below and a uh, fair warning that they may be affiliate links because your patronage is appreciated. All right, a gleaner. This, <laughs> it has some fuzz on it right there, is to remove pills from sweaters. And it's amazing. It works really well. Um, on this end, it has like kind of a lint brush so that once you have shaved the pills off the sweater, it will pick them up and kind of gather them up. It also comes with three different quote unquote brushes, depending on um, how fine your fabric is. So this one um, would be for very fine fabric. Uh, then there's the next step up and then the last one for your heavier fabrics. This thing works really well. Um, I use this at the end of every season to depill all of my sweaters before I put them away for the uh, warmer months. And then I just have it on hand throughout the season that I'm wearing sweaters. Um, some yarns start to pill up faster than others, but having the three different brushes, having that little lint brush dealy at the end to pick up the fuzz and all the other assorted things that get attached to your sweater, uh, and then it has a little bag that everything fits in. This is a wonderful, wonderful and practical gift. Uh, they even sell like a little travel size. So I got them for my dad and sister last year to put in their stockings so they can depill all of the hand knits that I give them. So again, this is called a Galeaner. It is basically a uh, depilling device for hand knits and it's wonderful. So that is my number five gift. Number four is something I don't have, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop a photo in here. This is the book Knitting Bag of Tricks by Patty Lyons. Um, it was released earlier this year. A bunch of tips and tricks for knitting, and if you are at all familiar with Patty Lyons, you'll know that she is just brilliant. She has all of these um, little uh, bits and pieces of knitting, trickery worked out. Uh, she's always posting little like videos and um, Instagram stories and things showing you how to just fix like um, minor problems with your knits that, you know, maybe it's something that gets on your nerves. Like uh, when you bind off and you have that loose stitch on the end, she can tell you how to fix that. Or, you know, you have a jog when you're joining in the round, she'll tell you how to fix that. Just all these really clever tips and tricks for making your knitting just a little bit better. So this is something that is also on my wish list. Um, I have been knitting since 2007, but there is always more to learn and there are always little tips and tricks that other people come up with that would just never occur to you or me or anyone. Um, so I think this would be a great 
gift for any knitter who is just looking for quick and easy ways to solve common knitting problems, knitting annoyances um, from somebody who is very famous in the industry, very well known, very skilled, always teaching at all of the different events and Vogue Knitting Live and, and stitches and all those things because she's just so good. Um, so you can pick this up, I'm sure on Amazon, probably your local yarn store has it. Um, any books, any major bookseller is gonna have this and this is gonna make a great gift for the knitter on your list or for you yourself if, again, you are looking for something to add to your wish list. All right, and number three on my list is something that I, again, have myself already. It is the Knitter's Oracle. You don't have to be into tarot for this. I am not. Um, I find it interesting. I find it entertaining, but it is not something that I, you know, <laughs> am invested in or fully believe in. But as a conversation starter and entertainment, uh, the Knitter's Oracle, which is a knitting themed tarot deck from Wild Hunt Designs, I think is just a really fun, creative, maybe a little bit silly gift for the knitter on your list. And of course, it's also pretty small, so make a good stocking stuffer. Um, so first, I just love the design. These are really thick, sturdy cards. I love the, the gold finish on all of the cards. Um, and then, you know, the pictures are just adorable. So they're all knitting themed, um, and they just, they just make, um, just a really fun, playful gift for the knitter on your list this year. Um, the drawings are adorable. So, um, Wild Hunt Designs used to be a pattern designer by the name of Alex Tinsley. Uh, and now she is doing um, kind of a graphic design, things like this in her Etsy shop, which is what the link below will link to. Um, and so the illustrations are just adorable. Um, I cannot remember how much this costs because I supported her Kickstarter for this. So I don't know what this retails for, but I will include it in the box down below. And then of course there's a whole a whole guide on how to read your knitting tarot um so just a really fun kind of quirky silly gift for the holidays and for the knitter on your list even if not he or she is not directly interested in tarot and things like that so that is number three the knitter's oracle number two is basically anything from the Shelly Can merch shop, but in particular, she has these pencils that I just love. So she sells these on her website. Um, if you're in the Maryland area by any chance, we think you can find these at the Magpie Fiber Shop uh, up in Frederick, Maryland. I only have two, I think she has maybe six different ones, but they're all sort of knitting, fiber arts, make sure it's focusing on the pencil and not my face, themes um, on the pencils that are just really cute. Uh, so I think there is, you can get like a mix and match set for like 10 bucks. It includes six pencils. Um, and I just think they're adorable. But she also has lots of other, you know, adorable knitting themed merchandise on her website. Pins, t-shirts, bags. She, Kind of has uh she has a t-shirt that i kind of interested in that says this is my rhinebeck sweater <laughs> um just really cute knitting themed stuff so again this is shelly can she is another um graphic design illustrator who is also a knitter and making just lots of cute accessories like this for other yarn enthusiasts and the number one thing on my top five gifts for knitters this holiday season uh, is something i don't have and is actually on my wish list and it is this Darning Loom from Katrinkles. Um, especially if the knitter in question knits socks, this is a really handy thing to have to help you darn your socks in a really um, efficient and kind of easy to work manner. I uh, had just never been great at darning my socks. I mean, I find it annoying, which is one thing, um, but for some reason, you know, I can knit the socks, but when it comes to trying to repair them, it just always ends up looking sloppy. 
So um, I think if you go on her Instagram, you can actually see a video of this in action, but it just um, helps set up your sock for making little patches, patch right over the holes and weak spots so that you can keep wearing them. And of course, this is from Katrinkles, who also has a whole bunch of other um, knitting accessories, stitch gauges and um, those little whip rulers and that's wraps per inch ruler, um, stitch markers and all kinds of things like that. So she has all kinds of goodies for knitters over there, but I particularly think this darning loom is really going to come in handy, uh, especially for your sock knitters, um, just because it makes something that a lot of people struggle with so much easier. Um, so I think there are a couple of sizes of the darning looms, depending on whether, you know, you're darning socks, which are obviously smaller, or whether you maybe you need it to patch holes in, in larger garments. Um, but definitely check that out and um, consider that for the knitter in your life who maybe would like to get some more wear out of those socks. She has spent hours and hours knitting, but just struggles with the actual darning process. So those are my top five gifts for knitters this holiday season. I also have one more uh, kind of runner up that I want to tell you about, and that is the Wool Needles Hands merch shop. So if uh, you have been over here on my channel at all, you know that I love uh, Fiber Feed the People Yarn. I love the Wool Needles Hands podcast. Uh, and Taylor, the host of the podcast, now has a merch shop with all these really cute um, knitting themed mostly t-shirts there are some there's like there's some mugs and maybe a couple of bags in there but it is mostly t-shirts um you know team you know toe up sock down or cuff down t-shirts and uh t-shirts with like the names of all the cast-ons like those popular kind of subway station t-shirts and just really cute stuff like that um the reason i'm saying honorable mention is just because i have not had the time to really investigate um, what the deal is with the production of these t-shirts. I know many of us, myself included, are really concerned about kind of the um, ethical, ethical fashion consumption and things like that. And so I don't know anything about the actual production of the t-shirts, where that is you know, sourced to and whether it is sustainable and things like that. Um, at some point, maybe when the holidays are done, because I'm, you know, like all of us, very, very busy right now. Uh, I will have the time to look into that. Um, but the shirts really are absolutely adorable. Um, you know, she has the whatever speckles your yarn shirts, which I love, and I do have one of. Um, like I said, there's a couple of mugs and tote bags in there as well. But it's all really cute stuff and it goes, you know, to support the Wool Needles Hands podcast, which I am a big fan of. So definitely check that out as well if you are looking for gifts for the knitter in your life this holiday season. All right, and that wraps it up. Those are my top five gifts for knitters this holiday season. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope you got some good ideas for the people on your uh, gift list or perhaps for your own wish list uh, to tell others so that they don't buy you yarn that you don't Again, last reminder, don't buy random yarn for your knitter. Bad idea. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday and I will hopefully see you back here soon on the Knitting Better Wanna Knits, a YouTube channel. Bye.